couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome finger style improvisation lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the beauty of chords. By that, I mean that usually everything you need harmonically and melodically is already inside the chords you're playing. And we don't need to get complicated about the chords. We don't have to go to sevens or thirteens or flat thirteens or add elevens or sus chords even. We can just take the minor and major chords and see that immediately we can create instant melodies using those chords. Just take the simplest chord progression and see that you can play around with it for hours. For example, A minor, G and F. If you play... Okay? All three chords using strings two, three, and four, you get that. Okay? If you play strings one, two, and three, you get something completely different. Okay? If you play strings three, four, and five, you get something completely different. Okay? So you can try to combine strings one, two, and three, then two, three, and four then three, four, and five. And you get three different expressions. You can pick strings two, three, and four, and then three, four, and five. Okay, for two different expressions of the same chord, creating a completely different harmonic and melodic approach. just playing A minor, G, and F. Now let's take three different chords. Um, barred chords. A, B, and C sharp minor. And it's just a step-by-step -step approach. And slipped a bit there at the end, but you got what I was trying to show you. I just took the chords and added a little bit of rhythm um, I tried to create a keyboard sound there, uh, an 80s keyboard sound, a little bit funky. And again, I'm only alternating between picking the first three strings and strings two, three, and four. That's all I'm doing. Okay? Instead of... Which is also an idea, but when uh, when we use that, we can use that as an answer to a previous line. Okay, and then pick strings three and four, okay, for a low answer. Just the chords. I didn't add anything. No seven, no nine, no sus, nothing. Just the minor and major chords. And you can also hammer on the chords and slide them around. Okay, hammer on the whole chord. And you can slide. Okay, slide the... A to B. Okay, and the 4, 4, and 4, if you let go of uh, C sharp minor, the 4, 4, and 4 on strings 2, 3, and 4 are the B chord. Just don't play the first and fifth strings. So you see, you can use the chords to create melodies um, without adding or subtracting anything. And you can arpeggiate the chords as well, of course. So let's take um, A minor, G, and D over F sharp. Okay, just to have a different example from the first one. Um, D over F sharp, D with F sharp on the bass, two on the sixth string. So just try to arpeggiate it and listen to the chord as you're playing and try to create very subtle connections between the chords. No extra notes. Instant melodies. 
Okay? Try to uh, turn the progression around. Get into it and try to build a story out of the chords. Start simple, just one or two strings, and then harmonize those notes. And let's take something um, something different. Let's take B minor, D, E minor. I want to be as random as possible to show you that you can create anything out of any chord progression. Hey, just listen to it first. See, just a rhythm suggested itself. third chord, A minor and B minor, just answering that previous uh, rhythm pattern. Just question and answer things, and you have so much going on inside the chords, it's really difficult to sit on the guitar, but you have a lot of options to connect the chords. It all depends on the string sets you want to play. You can play strings 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4. You can combine and jump from high to low, to, from low to high. And the more you try, the better you get at it. I just want to give you one last example before you go practice this. I want to give you the simplest chord scale possible, the C major or A minor uh, scale chords. C, G, A minor, E minor, F, and D minor. You've all played this and heard it so many times before that it's become a cliche, but again, we can search, we can listen to the chords and search for new expressions. Just, again, try the different strength sets. It's really mind-opening and ear-opening as well because we're used to this set of chords. Uh, we've played them so many times before and we think we know them, but if we listen to them, we might find out new connections. So let's start. just chord connections and that's the idea here just find new ways to connect the chords you already know so uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already don't know what you're waiting for there are a ton of free lessons over here and I upload a new one every couple of days or so I'll see you the next lesson so uh, you go practice and have fun bye for now thanks for watching